My telescope came with two eyepieces and a Barlow, and I'm gonna tell you when to use each one. Okay, so first, the telescope won't work without an eyepiece, so make sure you've always got one of those, at least. And if your telescope looks like this, it's a refractor. And if it's designed for looking into space, it will have a diagonal that looks like this, 90 degrees. If it's designed for looking at birds or maybe your neighbors, I don't judge, it'll have this, a 45 degree diagonal. And that's not what you want, <laughs> unless it is. A Barlow looks like this and goes in between the diagonal and the eyepiece, like that. If you've got one of these, put it away. You don't really need it, and honestly, it just makes it really hard to use a telescope if you don't know what you're doing, like me. Okay, so for finding targets and most everything else, you're going to be using the big eyepiece, the one with the most glass in it. This is known as your low power eyepiece. The focal length is written on the side, and it's usually a number between 20 and 30. You're gonna use this for finding targets. Most of the time, that's the only eyepiece you'll need. So say you found a target, like the moon. You put it in your finder, you moved over to your low power eyepiece. It's there, you're looking at it, but you want to zoom in even closer. That's when you're going to switch to your smaller eyepiece. It's got less glass and more magnification. You're going to have to refocus the telescope every time you switch out your eyepieces. That's just the way it is. Remember to do it. Now, if you want to experiment with zooming in even more, you can experiment with using your Barlow. But again, this makes it pretty hard to use a telescope, so tread lightly here. I'm Heather, this is Learn to Stargaze. I learned all of this in this book, 50 Things to See with the Telescope for Kids. If you want to learn more about stargazing, follow along for more stargazing tips. Magnification, is that right? Fine. <laughs>